Hi, I'm Eddie. I'm the winner of Rise and Fall, and this is how I rose to the top. My experience in Rise and Fall, while you're doing it, you're hating every moment of it, but when you look back on it, you absolutely loved it. I surprised myself by getting on with the people in this game as much as I did. When I walked into that mixer, I thought there's not hope in hell that I'm gonna be able to survive here. And that was the biggest surprise for me, is the bond that you can create over eating some horrible food and doing a bit of graft. But favorite player, I would probably say is Isaac. The most well-rounded, he played a great game. He gave so much back to the basement and worked his arse off and he really yeah, should have been in the penthouse book for much longer than he was. The player that shocked me the most was Ramona. She obviously got eliminated. She came back in the basement and my heart dropped and she just surprised me that the words she was speaking was actually making a lot of sense if you listen to her. Without her, I don't think I, I would have won the game. One thing I learned from this experience, don't judge a book by its cover. When I walked into that mixer, I judged 15 books by their cover and I wasn't gonna read any of them. But when I got to know them, they've all been absolutely fantastic people and I hope to stay in touch with them all. Um, not only did they just play a great game, uh, but they're great people as well. We had our final work shift as rulers and I chose Joanna. There's nobody in that bunch of drafters who has a stronger mindset than her. It wasn't looking great for me when the grafters were told to go behind who they were supporting. Marina went over to Joanna and I'm going to be taking those two girls out for a massive dinner. I can tell you that. They, they are, I'm going to spoil them rotten because without those two girls, I wouldn't have made it to the finale. I owe everything, my entire game, hanged on those two girls' shoulder and they brought it home. The most shocking drama-wise was probably the finale. You will stay and help decide who wins the prize fund. To eliminate three rulers in just quick succession like that was, yeah, was pretty shocking. I think I was chosen to win by the other players <laughs> because I baked them loads of bread. <laughs> One of the key attributes of what I believe is a good leader is somebody who keeps the morale high. The easiest way of doing that is by feeding them and everything else is just a bonus. It's that attitude of putting others first, making sure other people are enjoying their game and making everyone's life a little bit easier. Being one of the longest serving grafters, having finally rose to the top, it felt slightly overwhelming and a little bit sickly because you're not having to fight for it. You're not having to work for it. You've got it all there. You've got to keep the same attitude that you do in the basement. You can't let the penthouse get the better of you. Eddie. It didn't sink in at all. I don't think it will sink in for quite a long time. To actually win the game in a competition which is about communication skills and the way you behave, to win a game based on that uh, means everything to me. If you've missed my journey to the top on Rise and Fall, you can binge the whole series now on all four.